This is Briar Rose's place. Snow said Crane lives in 1903. Why is the door open? Anyone in there? Crane? Damn it. Must have missed him. There's gotta be something about his witch here. in the old days. Hmm. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? Dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. And watching you work, if I am unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Might be useful. Excited. Guess things have changed. Just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain yourself. Now! 
Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Okay! You got me. Just take it easy. This is really fucking necessary. Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. So don't, you know, hit me again. Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm trying to find Crane's witch. He's supposed to be heading there. Crane's witch? Is that why he took off? Who the fuck cares about any of that? I mean, don't you think, oh, I don't know, solving these murderers should be your top priority? Because, let me tell you, people haven't forgotten about those at all. It's all anyone ever talks about. They want to know what's going on and why it's taken so fucking long to figure it out. Crane's definitely involved in all of this. I just need to track him down. Then I'll know more. Involved? How do you mean? That's all I'm gonna tell you. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're, uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just, uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Go on. I'm listening. If you're looking for Crane's witch, well, I just happen to know who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Fine, you got a deal. Perfect. Now tell me where I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what kind of a deal he's made with her, but from what I hear, he's in pretty regular contact. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her, exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Dear. Do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. 
You want to try that again? That it? Pick me? Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh. What did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fable Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. We still have to find him. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. Wouldn't she be listed in the business office? I've had Buffkin searching for any unauthorized witches, but so far we haven't found anything. I'll give him the name, but we don't have time to wait around. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third-degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, <clears throat> right? Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? Who are you talking to just now? Yourself. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. I just finished cleaning. You know where he went? No. I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know, I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He was lying. I didn't send him here. You did the right thing. Okay. Good. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be, thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby.
master. <laughs> She's asleep, you fuck it. Read the sign! Hey! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Brent, what? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think with... I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you, you shouldn't drink right now. Swinehart told me that Holly was here. I need to talk to her. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? Well, the doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, what? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. To the dead. All right, now help me. Gren. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, all right? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <laughs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. Cut this shit out now, I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. 
You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay, because I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this piece of shit? Everything's a problem when I want to talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's, oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? When you saw Lily, did she ever mention anything about a witch? No. We didn't talk about work. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. I thought you said you would help me look. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. Just here for Lily's things, Holly. Uh, go back to sleep. Big B. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. Do you even give a shit about us? The strays? The ones that aren't in that fancy high-rise. Those of us that gotta work for a living. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. You're friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Why'd you even come here? There's nothing here to investigate. I can't be any use to you. I came to say I was sorry, Holly, for the funeral and everything that's happened. No, you didn't. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? Crane. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I'll take it.
getting your glamour on this day, and one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. Let's just save the last resort for last. Make sense? Fine, okay. What would you have me do instead? I don't know. Knock? I mean, we have no idea what's behind this... Hello? Hi. You woke me up. Uh, sorry about that. Is something wrong? Where's Crane? Is he still here? Huh? I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't really... Uh... Do you live in the building? Are you the missus of the house? Or is your mother at home? My mommy's not here. She's probably working. Do you have a name? Rachel, who are you? Just so... we're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> wow, I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim! Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. But I mean, I wouldn't think you'd be friends after something like that. Look, Shortstack, we're in a bit of a hurry. Oh. Okay. What Mr. Wolf is trying to say is that we came here for a very important reason, and you can help us out. Oh, and I'm Miss White, by the way. Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is there... Uh, something you want? Rachel, do you mind if I take just a quick peek around? We'll be very quick, and he won't touch anything. I've been here all night. Nobody's been here. Okay, Mr. Wolf. I'm gonna trust you not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. What are we looking for specifically? Crane. He could still be here. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Your mama Hunter? Oh no, she never... That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. That your mom? Uh-huh. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? 
Not here. There's no one here but me. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going to check. It'll only take a moment. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. Nothing? See? How much longer do you think it'll be? Where do you buy your clothes? At a store? Oh. My mommy makes all of mine. I saw a sp The Butcher. What's that? A package. Having to do with someone called the Butcher. It's empty. Shouldn't say that. Nothing. I keep getting whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now, please? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I tried. No, please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. I'm not going to break it. I just want to open it. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! you got to believe me. The guy isn't I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't wanna, I don't wanna get in trouble. <laughs> Anti-green leaf. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? Why, Rachel? Why the little girl? I don't think that's any of your business, Wolf. Why? How about because it works? That's why. Ain't good enough for you? Certainly kept you two off the scent for a while. A short while? All right, start explaining. And from the beginning. I was born in the woods to a jackal and a deer. Not that. None of this pathetic witchcraft crap is gonna prevent me from prying what I need from your gullet. Now tell me where Crane is! I ain't a fortune teller, Wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something! Unless you want a recipe for owl stew, there's nothing I know that would help. You're an accomplice to murder, do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. 